we're going to start off by adding two mils of fragrance oil to our sweet almond oil. This fragrance is Island Nectar from Wholesale Supply Plus. And in this container, we have two ounces of sweet almond oil. And so we'll add the fragrance to that. We're doing all of this ahead of time because once we melt the soap base, we will act very, have to move very, very fast. So we're gonna add that now. And then we'll set it aside. It looks like I added a little bit more, but it wasn't a complete two mils when I first put it in the first time. So I just wanted to make sure that I had exactly two millimeters of fragrance. And then in our container, we have two ounces of the melt and pour soap as well as just a little touch of color it um it's a color block that i got from wholesale supply plus and so we put that in the microwave and melted it for 30 seconds 30 to 40 seconds now that everything is all melted we're going to give the good coloring a good stir and once we feel like it's all incorporated we're going to add check the temperature first then we'll add the oil when it's a good temperature to add our oils and so we're going to add our oil well i check the temperature again as you can see it's, it's a very good temperature i mean it's well i don't know why i haven't added it yet but we'll add the oil and then let's give that a good stir to incorporate it fully before adding our sugar. Now, once we add the sugar, we'll have to move really quickly because the soap base will seize up on us. Um, and the, that's not really an issue because we can always microwave it again to, to um, melt it down again. So I'm getting my mold ready because we're getting ready to pour that sugar and that's when we wanna move quickly. So here we go, we're adding six ounces of sugar. Um, and so you can use white sugar. I just use what I had on hand, which is the natural sugar that I got from Aldi's. And give it a good stir. And then you see it's starting to thicken up. So I pour it, but I realize that it is thickening up and I want it to be just a bit, little bit looser. So I stick it back into the microwave for about another 10 seconds. Now, I should have started a little bit more because I didn't incorporate the oil that much better. So I'm now just going to go ahead and fill up all of the molds or openings as much as I can. Do that and we will be back. So now that I've got them all filled, I can see how much of this excess oil is sitting out. And that's because I didn't really stir it too good at the end. When I put it back in for those 10 seconds, I'm going to wipe off just a little bit of the oil and then I let it sit. I'll get most of that oil off. So we have finally finished with our sugar shrubs have set up. So I've already started taking them out. So I'll show you here how quickly they easily they pop out of this silicone mold. Now these have a lot of oil that I'm not a fan of. So I'm putting them out on these paper towel so I can get some of this oil off. I'm not a fan of that. So if you've made this sugar scrub bars before, let me know in the, in the comment section what, how much oil did you use? Did you have a lot of oil residue? Uh, I'm definitely not a fan of that. Now I do know because I did a smaller batch of this, they will dry out and you won't see that glycerin, that oil glisten. But the design from the flower mold that we used, so we used this flower mold, but you can see that oil up on the top, which I'll have to perfect this because this is, I got this off of the Bramble, Brambleberry website, or actually from the video. Um, so I will 
link that in the description box below, but I'm not a fan of the oil. So I think it just has way too much oil. But like I said, I know it's going to dry out. So anyway, these are the bars. They have a softer feel, which is nice because once you get them in the shower, you can just break it up and use it. So that's good because some sugar scrub bars are very hard. So I will say that about these is that they are soft. I'll show you ones that I did as a test and how those came out. So let me go grab those so you can see how those came out. So if you look at these... I did, I did this like a couple of days ago and just let them set out to dry. And so it dries nicely. I'm not sure if you're seeing that. But it, it, it dries out nicely. So I'll leave these set out for a couple of days and see how they do. So. Anyway, that is my version of the sugar scrub bars that I got from the Brambleberry website. Again, I will link that website in the description box below. Please make sure to comment. Let me know if you have made sugar scrub bars, how they come out, maybe share some pictures, and have you used the amount of oil that they reference. So I won't link any of the um, specific ingredients. You can go to the Brambleberry website. So anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a crafty day.